What's up, everyone? It is your boy, Victor Freeze. And girlfriend. And um, we are here with some Negan gameplay. Now, you know, my girlfriend is on, 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 on the microphone. We don't talk about the gameplay. We talk about relationship and the good and the bad times hit my cat through music. So, today, we'll be talking about adjusting to your partner when you're already in a relationship. And that's, that's, that's hard. It's hard to do. It's not easy. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it's very hard, especially if you guys were just, you know, going on a couple of dates or you guys were dating in school or whatever. You only see that person like a couple times a day at max. But having to see them all the time and be with them, it's very different. So, um, we're, I'm, we're talking about two things today. One is adjusting to, you know, your partner when y'all are just seeing each other. And then when y'all move in, you have to adjust again, really, because that person may be a different person in the house, you know, when they're comfortable. You know, when they're out on dates, it could be like best behavior, it could be, you know, a facade. But like when you. When you when you see him in person, I mean not when you see him in person. That's that's the next relationship time. But when you see him at the home. Oh, on that, personally, I think if you're dating someone, you shouldn't put on the facade, especially if y'all been dating for a little bit. Well, see here. Like maybe on the first date you could be, you know, as cordial as possible. But after a minute, it's like, you know, don't be fake. Okay. Because then those that person's gonna expect you to be that person all the time, and you're not. But here's here's the thing though. What if she's hot? And like, I know she would hate my Hitler joke, but she's hot. Well then, don't be with her. Do you want to be that person you when you're around her all the time? No, that would suck. Like, would you never want to be able to tell your Hitler joke ever because you're around her? Yeah, that would suck. So you know, like, don't change yourself for the other person. Find someone who loves you for you, for who you are. Do you like Hitler jokes? I mean, it depends on the joke. Okay, okay, I got one for you. Really? Right so, now? Yes, right now. Fine. So, see, this is a part of adapting. You gotta, you gotta know what your partner is doing. What? So here's the Hitler joke. Are you ready? Uh -huh. So I owned a business. Mm -hmm. One time Hitler walked in, okay. and I was like, "Hey, do you want some bagels?" And he was like, "No, nah, I just want your oven." Oh. <laughs> You're That's horrible. Dick. Holy shit. That's horrible. <laughs> was, wait, the joke is horrible? Or, or the... This is not very nice. That's horrible. It's uh, funny, but it's so horrible. Um, Victor Freeze has no problem against you. So, um... <laughs> yeah, but like... Yeah, babe hates everyone equally. There we go. <laughs> so, but like... you Except have for me. You, like you have to adjust. You gotta know, you know... And you gotta... Here's the best part about starting a relationship or like you, you could be like I ain't comfortable with that and see how he reacts to it you know what I'm saying or he or she yeah you know what I mean? like, with I don't them know. or they yeah I, I, don't, I don't know about all that right there yeah. and like you know if that person won't cohere maybe 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 rethink that but if, if the person's like all right yeah yeah but if you say one thing you're not comfortable with and they're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. That doesn't mean break up, because it's just one thing. Like, uh, if it's a major thing, then yeah, you might have to rethink it. Uh, I'm a saint worshiper. Well, I'm not really a religious person. As long as you don't, like, come sacrifice any goats in our house. Well, see, that's just... Don't, no. <laughs> don't bring any demons in our goddamn house. Do that somewhere else. But, like, let's say you're a Christian, mm -hmm. and the person's atheist. That that's a, that's a big thing for most it people. It is a big thing. But that doesn't mean you can't work out. Yeah, maybe like, your dick's good. What? No. Then there's a lot of people of different religions who are together and they make it work. Who? It just depends. Hmm? I've never seen that in my life. I have. Really? Yeah. Shit. Like, um, my aunt's friends, they're married and they're very much in love, but one, like, doesn't believe in a higher power and one is super religious. But they love each other. They make it work. Do they have the upside down cross? You know I love that movie. Like, it depends on who you are as a person. Like, if you can deal with that, that's good. And if you can't, that's fine, too. Just find someone who's right for you. Alright, well, let me ask you this question, babe. Mm -hmm. When you're first starting a relationship, yeah. a, a nebulous relationship, right? Okay. What, what, is, what is something that you would look for 
in that guy to be like, okay, maybe I, either I really like this or I don't like this. What would, what would be that? You personally? Yeah, you personally. Okay. Um, what I would like is if he's funny, or at least I find him funny, because you're not funny, but I think you're funny. <laughs> um, you have to be a little bit handsome at the very least. I mean, looks aren't everything, obviously. I'm with you. So, um, what else? Mm, let's be smart. Let's be kind to an extent. The turn off is he's really mean. I don't like mean people. Really? Mm -mm. Why are you with me? Because you're nice to me. So, you only care if I'm nice to you. I mean, of course I'm not gonna like it if I see you being mean to someone out in public, but, you know. If you know that I don't like that, then you probably, if you're kind to me, then you ain't gonna go do it in front of me. You know? Okay, okay. I don't know. So, here's another question. Hmm? What were the differences between us just seeing each other and then us living together? Okay. Big difference. Um, what else just seeing each other? First of all, we started dating in high school. Yep. So we'd see each other at lunch. Uh -huh. Sometimes For like 30 minutes. Yeah, sometimes. If like we didn't have a class or anything, or we somehow had the same class, we'd see each other, you know? Uh -huh. Um, if we skipped school, which, disclaimer kids, not skip school, we did a lot. Or do it, you know? No, <laughs> we did it a lot, but I kind of regret it. I feel bad about it. I don't. Stop. If we skipped school, to hang out. Or when we walked home after school, so it, we didn't see each other very often. Not very often at all. So of course we'd be texting and calling each other all the time, and that's how we kept in contact. Till five o'clock. Yeah, and um, so during that time it was like, oh, I love him so much. I want to be around him all the time. I hate that I can't be around him, and such and such, such, blah blah blah, all that. And then once you start living together, it's like, man. I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> like, he's just the worst. Because there are certain things that you can't find out unless you actually live with somebody. Live with somebody. Like, I didn't know Babe doesn't clean up after himself. I do. These Rarely. are uh, these are these are alternative facts. Uh huh. Sure. Like, I'm not a huge fan of cleaning up. But when push comes to shove, I'll clean up. Like, if I feel like the room is too dirty, I'll get up and clean up. It doesn't matter. So you don't like cleaning up? I don't. I hate cleaning up. But really? if I have to, I will. Because you don't clean up. I do clean up. Sure. But when push comes to shove, I don't clean up. <laughs> exactly. So, like, Babe will let the room get, like, real dirty and find nothing wrong with it. So then I'll have to get up and clean up, which I hate. But, you know, I've gotten adjusted to it because I love Babe and I want to be with him. So it's you like, also that's don't like when I eat eggs. Yeah. I don't, li I don't like eggs. I don't like shellfish. Like, I don't like the smell of those things. Like, they make me kind of nauseous. You don't like half the things that I eat. Would you let me finish? Oh, my babe. <laughs> Go on your little tirade. Like, they make me nauseous. So when Babe eats them, of course, I don't want to be around him. But those are, like, his favorite foods. So I have to adjust, or we have to adjust to that. Like, he has to eat it somewhere else, or I have to go out while he eats it or whatever. Or I'll eat something else, or, you know. And, like Babe said, there's a lot of foods and stuff that we don't have in common. So what we do when we go out, we'll either go to a place where they have a menu for both of us. Yeah. Or we'll just get two different things, mm -hmm. which isn't like economically good or whatever, but you know, it's for us to be happy together. So you just gotta find ways around the differences in your relationship. Cause me and Babe, we have a million and one differences. We almost, we almost have literally nothing in common. It's I, I damn near hate him, but <laughs> I love him a lot more than I hate him. So I am willing to make it work. And the same is said for him, because I'm quite sure there's a million and one things you hate that I do. You well, now that you some, brought it don't, up, don't, don't. Now that you don't. brought it up, <laughs> I hate your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your face. What? <laughs> the main thing you look at on a daily basis. Nah, well, here was my differences, man. We are in high school. I know no fucking better. I just saw this girl with the bad hair, and I was like, Why you know what? I didn't know to say that. I thought my hair was cute. Fuck you. These are facts. And I, I looked at her and I was like, man, you know, it'll be cool to, 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 to be with her. You know, and that, <laughs> sure. You know, it'll be cool. And sure. then I sure figured out, I, you know, I, I loved this girl. That was like two years after, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, yeah, it took you a while. But like, you know, seeing each other for 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes tops a day and on an average day. 
Because, well, mm-hmm. you know, we had classes together sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. But, like, when we didn't have classes, that's 45 minutes a day. 15 minutes to walk home, 30 minutes to lunch, and then we talk and text, of course. And I think when I started dating you, it was when I first got my first phone. Because I didn't get my first phone until junior year for some reason. But, um, and then, you know, living together is totally different because I realized, you know, girls are gross. What? I mean, they leave stuff everywhere. They're like cats. They just leave stuff everywhere. Really? You know what I'm saying? Really? I literally just told them how to clean up Sometimes they, you, so Sometimes they lick themselves. It's weird. What? <laughs> and then, you know, what are you talking about? my, and then girlfriend has like weird things about her. What? You know, she's just weird. She just laughs for no reason. I don't know how what that is. <laughs> what? And then like the stuff she eats. I like to be happy. Fuck you. The stuff she eats is weird. We the stuff I eat. Yeah, she likes like bone in wings. I mean, who likes that? That's for normal people. That's for savages, man. For cavemen. Okay, you're too much of a pussy to eat some bones. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, low intelligence. You too, you too deli. Your stomach too delicate for some bones. Low, low intelligence creatures eat bones. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> low intelligence oh, creatures oh, eat oh, bone in wings. Or stuff with bones with them in general. Bone and chicken? Like, come on now. Like, are we savages or, or are we a civilized uh, race here? And, um... But... You're just a pussy. And, and her music choices are, are just horrific, but... Okay, well, my bad. I like old school R&B. No, nah, that's not all you like, though. What else do I like? Um... I like pop music. Yeah, yeah. I actually listen to any type of music. You also like uh, Beyonce. I don't even. <laughs> don't start. But like when I listen to my to when I listen to my grunge music, all of a sudden it's white boy music. I mean, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, if I like a song, then I like a song. It doesn't matter what genre it is. I just don't like your songs. You don't like none of my songs. Most of your songs don't even have freaking lyrics. It's just music. Well, I I will admit I do run video game music a bunch on my my phone. I'm not saying video Spotify. game lyric music is bad. I just need lyrics so I can sing along. Plus, she sings bad. I didn't. Thanks for bringing that. No. <laughs> you sing bad. But through all that, there is some things that I do like. Oh, I, I like cuddles. <laughs> I also like cuddles. And like, you get to like seeing this person every day does suck sometimes. <laughs> but also sometimes it's like, oh hey, you're here. Give me a hug. <laughs> I mean, it is nice waking up to this to somebody every day. He just, you know. Well, for the most part, unless I'm just angry, then it's like, damn, I wish you would leave. But for the most part, waking up next to somebody next to you, it's, it's a good feeling. It's great. Because I, I don't want it to be all doom and gloom. It's not. Yeah, it's right? not. It, it, is, it is also an experience that most men need. Because usually, I'm going to just speak for myself. I grew up with my pops, my brother. We ain't have no woman in the house. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I you get that, that um that womanly like love from your girlfriend and that's cool and she cleans up after you and that's also cool. yeah i also didn't grow up with hardly any men in my house except for my little brother but you know he's my little brother so it's different to have a man around it makes me feel safe you know feel protected so but I- like here's the thing once you start living together also if you're gay or lesbian it goes the same it's yeah 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 whoever you're with you know i can't speak on yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, also, as I said in the earlier relationship time, living with somebody is your last stop sign before you have to pull the ring out. Like, cause she's gonna expect her, cause women, women are emotional and they're stupid. They're gonna expect, wow. they're gonna expect things. Fucking fight me. They're gonna expect rings, even though rings mean little in this society, you know. They expect bone and wings, I mean, who... So like, I expect bone and wings, which I still want. Our fucking wing stop is closed down because they have a gas leak. Open that wing stop back up. I want some wings. So here's the thing. Like, this is the last stop sign. This is your last chance to be like, okay, is she the one? Because if she's not, it depends on who house it is. Because then you got to kick out. What? What? Yeah, if she ain't the one, get the fuck out. Nah, I think that was next way. Wow. What? You got something to say? Why can't you leave? Cause it's my house, nigga. How you know it's your house? How you know I ain't pay for it? That's why I said. Right now you living with me. That's why I said it depends. <laughs> it depends on who has the house. Mm-hmm. Like if it's her house, you may you may need to swallow your pride. Well, that's not really swallowing your pride. You may just need to think about dipping. You know what I'm saying? 
and if if you know but that's if it doesn't work out but actually living together you'll know if it works out because i think once i started living with babe i knew that she was the one for me Aww. and um even though she's like bone and wing savagery but anyway is victor You're fucking freeze and girlfriend you're just hungry now well yeah i'm hungry we're talking about wings okay well, we'll get through it after the video. Okay. It's Victor fucking Freeze. And girlfriend. And uh, we have another relationship time coming for you tomorrow or whenever you're seeing this. Just, just click over. You'll probably find something. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.